morning and a very special welcome to Wiz Junior Storytime. It is great to have you with us today. I'm Jane and we are going to have lots and lots of fun together today. Now there is something different about Storytime today. Does anyone know what is different? Hmm... That's right, it is our superhero story time. And that's why I've got my special superhero cape and my special superhero headband. And I've got a friend to introduce to you. Some of you will know him if you've been to story time before, but this is my best friend who I've known for a very long time and his name is Brown Bear. And look, Brown Bear has also got a matching superhero headband and superhero cape. How exciting is that? And me and Brown Bear love stories, especially stories about God. But if you've been to story time before, you will know we always start with a song. And our song today is a special song and it is called Let's Go Heroes. So shall we all stand up on our feet? Give our whole body a wiggle, give your shoulders a wiggle, give your elbows a wiggle, give your fingers a wiggle, give your toes a wiggle. We are ready to sing a song. Let's do this. We're gonna run. We're gonna fly, shake the ground, touch the sky. We wanna learn, we wanna grow. Come on, everyone, let's go. We're gonna run, we're gonna fly, shake the ground, touch the sky. We wanna learn, we wanna grow. Come on, everyone, let's go. Let's go, heroes! jump we're gonna climb we're gonna stop then high five we want to learn we want to grow come on everyone let's go let's go heroes is that song and we're going to sing that song every day for story time because we have got story time today tomorrow and the next day and i'm really excited about story time because what was that song about it was about heroes and it said let's go heroes because we are all heroes but also we're going to be learning stories about heroes but heroes for god and how amazing is that now we're going to play a little game okay are we ready okay so this game is called follow the leader and i'm going to do things and i want you to copy so is everybody ready is everybody watching is everybody listening let's play follow the leader okay so first i would like you to clap can everyone clap with me well done okay touch your shoulders touch your head Okay, touch your knees. Touch your elbows. Can you touch your elbows? Oh, well done, everyone. Okay, now I want you to turn around. Everybody turn around. Can you jump up and down? Jump up and down. Jump up and down. Okay, and touch your nose. Touch your ears. Touch your nose. Touch your shoulders. Wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your elbows. Looks like a chicken, isn't it? Well done. 
you are so good at following instructions and our story today i think is about somebody who had to follow some instructions but i cannot be sure until we have checked the story bag and our story bag has got clues in it to what our story is about so i'm going to give you some clues and i would like you to try and guess what is in our story bag today okay there are lots of different colors okay you're thinking lots of different colors and we use them for drawing and coloring in um but these ones are ones that you don't want to get on your hands because they won't come off and they've got lids does anyone know what they are it's not coloring pencils it's not crayons well done it is they are felt tips and i have got seven felt tips can we count to seven okay we have got one two three four five six seven felt tips and do you know what's special about these felt tips they're all different colors aren't they we have got red you say red we have got orange we have got blue <laughs> of course it's not blue what is it yellow well done and we've got green and we've got blue this one is blue and we've got dark blue which we sometimes called indigo and then we've got purple which is sometimes called violet these are the colors of something does anyone know what these colors make when you put them all together because on their own they're different colors but what are they all together well done they make a rainbow and our story today is about a rainbow so we're going to be passing over to our very very special friend alice and she lives in germany which is another country and we are going to pass over to um, alice and she's going to tell us an amazing story so get your ears ready for listening get your bum all comfortable because this is going to be a good one good morning whiz kids i hope that you're having a fantastic morning that you've eaten all of your breakfast and that you've already had lots and lots of fun my name is alice and i'm going to be sharing a story with you this morning and there are lots of children from all around the world listening in today so i thought it'd be nice if we shouted out our names so we know who's here with us today are we ready shall we shout our names after three one two three children here with us today that is amazing and we are going to have a brilliant time learning all about a man called Noah so this is Noah oh hi Noah Noah is a really good man and God loved him and his family so much but the other people where Noah lived they were a little bit grumpy and a little bit silly and a little bit naughty. Oh, oh no. And God said, right Noah, you are very good, but these people are not very good. And it's time that we make everything go away and we make all things new. I want to make the world brand new. <gasps> and so God gave Noah a special task to build a very big boat and to save his family and lots of animals. And where Noah lived, it didn't rain very much and there wasn't any sea, there wasn't a swimming pool, there wasn't a pond, there was nothing and there was no rain either. And so when Noah told all of the people that he was going to build a boat to sail away and save the world, they all thought he was a little bit silly and they thought they laughed at him and they thought that will never happen and they made fun of him and they thought he was just being silly but Noah he stayed to what God said and he got a hammer and he got some nails and he started to build his boat 
Now the boat took a long time to build because it was so big. It was bigger than your house. It was bigger than our church. It was so big that Noah had to work so hard hitting his hammer nail by nail by nail. And I reckon he would have got a few splinters as well. Oh no! Oh golly gosh. But once he had finished, God said, right Noah, it is time for you and your family to go inside the boat. But also I want you to take two of every animal. So what kind of animals do you think that Noah took in the boat with him? Do you want to shout out some of your favourite animals? Okay, after three, one, two, three. <gasps> yes, you're right, there was an elephant. Noah took two elephants onto the ark with him and they were going, ta -da! Oh, it would have been very, very loud. Have we got any other animals? <gasps> oh, somebody said a snake. <gasps> oh, there were snakes going onto the ark. <sighs> Do we think there were any other animals going onto the boat? <gasps> Lions? Noah took lions onto the ark as well. <gasps> there were so many animals, all of the animals that we could ever think of, climbed onto the boat with Noah and his family. Wow! When all of the animals were on the boat and when Noah and his family were on the boat, God then closed the door of the boat. And at that moment, the rain started to fall. <gasps> the rain started to fall from the clouds all the way down to the floor. And it started off with a few drops. One, two, three, drip drop, drip drop. But then all of a sudden, <gasps> it came down really fast. <laughs> And the water started to rise. The water got higher and higher and higher until the boat lifted off of the ground and it started to float away. <gasps> now Noah and his family spent a long time on the boat singing, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. And maybe because they had all of the animals on the boat, they may have sang. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. And if you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! They probably sang lots of songs all about the rain and all about the boat and all about sailing away. Because they were on the boat for such a long time, they were on the boat for 40 days. And at that time, they had to look after the animals, make sure that they were okay, and make sure that they were sailing in the right direction. And then, after a long time being on the boat, Noah decided to see if it was ready to be able to go out onto the land again. So he got one of his birds and he let it out of the window to go and see if there were any trees starting to poke up from the water. But that bird didn't come back. Oh no! So a few days later, Noah got another bird and he let that one fly out of the window. And a little bit later, the bird came flying back with a little twig in its mouth to show that the trees were starting to show above the water and that the water was slowly going down. That the water was disappearing and that soon Noah, his family and all of the animals could get off the boat. And finally, after so long, it 
was ready. All of the water had gone and the boat was ready to be open and to let out all of the animals and to let out Noah and his family. And so God opened the door and everyone came out and they started running, they started jumping, they started hugging trees and hugging each other because they got to be on land again. And so Noah did a great big party for God and he said, God, thank you that you helped me save the world. You helped me save my family. You helped me save all of the animals. And God, I want to thank you. And God, in return, gave Noah a beautiful rainbow to remind him that God loves him and that he will never want anything bad to happen to him. And so that's why we always have our rainbow because God gave it to us and he wants us to remember that he loves us so, so much. And so that is the story of Noah. I hope that you've had lots of fun and I hope that you learn all about that you can be super by listening to God and what he says. Oh, thank you so much, Alice. That was such a good story. And it was such a good story about how Noah was one of God's heroes because he listened to what God was saying and he did it. And even though some people were laughing at him saying, why are you doing that? That's not, that's, that's silly, right? He, even though some people were laughing, he knew that what God told him was true because we know that everything that God tells us is true because God does not lie and God tells us that we are all heroes and that we are all special and how amazing is that we are going to sing a song together now and the song we're going to sing is one of my favorites and it is called bigger than big so if you've sung it before you will know the actions if you don't know the actions the song goes you're bigger than big you're stronger than strong you're mightier than mighty and louder than this song and you need to be able to do sky can everyone do sky and you need to be able to do the sea like the waves and you need to be able to do trees and our trees have little finger leaves and there are trees so is everybody ready to sing a song so everyone stand up because we are going to sing a song to God and tell God how amazing we think he is and how thankful we are that we can be one of his heroes because he tells us what to do okay is everyone ready to sing let's do this <laughs> You made our big blue sky You made the oceans deep and wide God, you made the trees so tall And your love is bigger than it all God, you're bigger than big You're stronger than strong
to us that because God loves it when we sing songs to him and when we dance and when we have fun because God wants us to have fun. Now we are coming to the end of story time today which is really sad but you know what's really exciting. We are back again tomorrow so we are looking forward to seeing you again tomorrow and we have got another story about another of God's heroes and one thing that we would like though if you want to I know lots of you have superhero outfits at your house you might have a superhero mask or you might want to make a superhero headband like I have done I would love to see some pictures of you in your superhero outfits I know that some people have already sent us some and we are going to show those in story time on Friday but if you would look, like to send us a picture of you in your superhero outfit to be shown in story time on Friday we would love to see those so if you send them in we will show them um, but we would love to be able to show those and we will, we are looking forward to seeing you again tomorrow oh whiz kids we always end our story time with a prayer because we think it's so important to speak to god and to listen to god and to spend time with god so when we pray at winter juniors we always find someone's hands to hold to so go and find someone's hands to hold it could be your grown-up or it could be your brother or sister or it could be your teddy but go and find someone's hands to hold and then at the end of our prayer we will all say amen together which means we agree with the prayer and then we are all going to give jesus the biggest clap ever just to say thank you for everything that he has done for us okay so everyone can find someone has everyone got someone have you done it oh lovely oh god we thank you that we've been able to hang out and have so much fun at story time this morning i pray that you help us to become more like your heroes and that we learn how to be heroes more and more every day god we pray that we have an amazing time this week and that we make lots of new friends amen and we give jesus a really big clap oh it has been amazing to spend this time with you this morning and we are back again tomorrow how exciting is that so don't forget to send us your photos and we will make sure we show those but we will see you again tomorrow have a great day goodbye <music>